In today's job, we're taking a look at, this was a landscaping project that originally I quoted as a bed refresh, where we go rip out all the weeds and the grass, trim all the shrubs, the hedges, get them down to no more than the window height, and then also uh, new mulch. So we were gonna put in, you know, red, brown, cypress, shredded mulch, whatever the customer wanted. So I quoted that, that was around $700, and the client said, you know, sorry, that's a little bit out of the budget. So I said, I, hey, it's okay, I completely understand what, uh, you know, what were you hoping to spend? So they came back with $300. When I ran my numbers, I said, well, I can basically get all the, the bed prepped for you. I can do all the weeding, getting all the grass out of the bed, but pretty quickly, you're gonna need to come behind me and, and do your own mulch. If you aren't gonna do the mulch on your own, I would recommend, you know, not even having me do do this this prep work because I don't want you to spend you know your $300 for me to get the bed ready and then you don't put down any mulch and in you know a month it's not gonna look like it was it's still gonna be a lot better but you're gonna have weeds pop back up and, and the grasses and that kind of things you want to put the mulch down right away so it smothers those things so that the any seeds that are left over can't get sunlight if there is anything that germinates after I've pulled it then you know it's got to fight through three or four inches of mulch so it takes a lot of energy, so it's weak, so it doesn't establish a good root system, all that kind of stuff. I didn't say that whole thing, but that's what I said to the customer. So they went ahead and accepted the bid at 300 just to prep everything, so that's what I'm doing. Here I'm using a Toro Tiller, a 60 volt attachment that plugs into their power base. It worked okay, it got clogged because of the St. Augustine that was growing everywhere. It didn't really break into the surface of the dirt. It didn't take any effort to use though, which was good. The, the main tool I used for this job was a scuffle hoe or a stirrup hoe, uh, two names for the same tool. And it was pretty miserable. It's a lot of physical activity. I mean, it sure beats using your hands to pull everything but it's still a, a very in, labor intensive job. So at the very beginning, I marked out the edge with the shovel. I went back with the stirrup or scuffle hoe and went ahead and broke everything up, then raked them into piles. And as those piles were raked up, I could see spots I missed and I'd go back with the, uh, the scuffle hoe. When a landscape bed looks like this, I just haven't found the mechanical tools that are gonna do this same kind of thing where you've, you've just gotta get in there and break everything up and pull all the St. Augustine sod out that's creeped in and all the runners and the grasses and all that stuff. These type of jobs I don't get too often, but I never mind doing them. Um, they are hard work, especially as we're starting to get into the Florida summertime. But I've got a few empty days in my work week where I can fit them in. Uh, my maintenance accounts usually are Monday through Wednesday. And then Thursdays and Fridays, I keep open for projects, for making videos, that kind of thing. So this worked out pretty good. Even though it took a little bit longer than I anticipated, I still hit my minimum dollar requirement. But at least for me, 60 bucks an hour is, is pretty much the least I wanna work for. If a job is gonna take two hours, then I would bid it at least $120. If it's gonna take three hours, I would bid it at least $180. If you don't run your own business, that might sound like a high dollar amount. That doesn't include any of the stuff to get to the job that loading up all the hand tools making sure my power equipment was charged or fueled or ready to go the drive time there the drive time back unloading everything at the end of the day all my fixed expenses like insurance taxes are going to be the biggest draw on that $60 an hour figure just to be safe I just say anything I generate I'm going to lose 30% to taxes that is my federal income tax that is my federal social security and medicare contributions that I have to make. I think that's something like 13% altogether because I don't have an employer making half for me. So again, $60 an hour might sound like a lot, but once you chop out a third for taxes and then you start backing out all the fixed and variable costs, it, it gets eat up pretty quick. And if you thought there was any chance that I was gonna tackle a project without bringing the Ventrac, you're dead wrong. So the, <laughs> I, I really like the Ventrac for jobs like this because again, it's very physically demanding work. If there's any labor I can cut out, I'm going to. So this bucket with the side extensions on it, I wanna say it's 10 and a half cubic feet, which is more than any wheelbarrow is gonna carry. It's less labor that I have to do. I don't have to push a wheelbarrow around to the piles. I don't have to push a wheelbarrow from the piles to the street where I'm dumping everything for city pickup. It's just one less thing that I have to worry about. On these jobs, that makes a big difference. I was here for four hours, I believe, from uh, pulling up to pulling out. And 
the amount of labor that that Ventrac saved me and, and time as well, because it was a lot quicker than using a manual wheelbarrow. Again, there's a lot of people who say, oh, that's overkill. Yeah, I'm never arguing that you have to have a Ventrac to do this kind of work, but I do have it and you better believe I'm gonna use it to save myself as much time and labor as possible, make myself more efficient. It's got that canopy with the fan too, so if I have to take a break, I can sit in the shade and catch a little breeze, so that's nice too. But that's what the job was. I did it for both sides, and here's the before and afters. I appreciate you watching this video. If you've got any questions, you can feel free to leave them down in the comments, and I'll try and answer them. But again, thanks for watching. I really do appreciate it.